on a Saturday me me um so I am so excited to be here I love I'm actually really enjoying doing three videos a week because I feel like then that gives me more room to get a vlog video out every week and I know the vlogs aren't for everybody like a lot of my people just want me to review it's like 50 50 I feel like Half of the people who watch me want me to just do book reviews and book content. And about half of the people want me to do just vlogging. So, doing three videos a week, I think, allows me to appease just about everybody. With that, what are we talking about today? Today, we are talking about kind of a controversial topic. Right? I try not to stray too far from them. But we are talking about book talk. Because I have been steered correctly on book talk. That is where I found Priory of the Orange Tree, which was my favorite read of 2022. And honestly, one of my favorite books I've ever read. Sanderson has a book, um, The Words of Radiance, that is up there for me with priority of the orange tree so I can't uh, I'm back to not being able to say what my favorite book is unfortunately it lasted a few months it lasted a few months but I just I can't now choose between those two so it has steered me correctly in in certain instances right I just did a video on Wednesday on a series that I found thanks to book talk but it has steered me wrong it has definitely wasted my time a couple of times. And I have a list. Can I get my list? I can get my list. I have a list of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books that, and there's probably more, but these were the seven I've been thinking about all week that I gave a shot after seeing them on Book Talk and did not like. So, I will use the word hate. I think when I was on Evolved Review, I said hated. I'm not going to say hated. There were at least two of these that I hated. And the rest of them just did not live up to expectation. Were dry, slow. I could not figure out. They were a huge disappointment. Because I couldn't figure out what was so incredible about them. That had people talking so much about them on, tic on, uh, yeah, on TikTok, on BookTok. So... Let's start off strong, okay? There's seven of them. Um, with one that I did not hate, I thought it was, I won't say good. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. But it was on the disappointing side of things. Like, I was expecting to have my mind blown by this one because of how freaking much I had heard about it and then when I got the book and I read the book there was no romance there was no slice there was nothing there was nothing like what I was expecting and that is I'm going to insert all of the books here for you so stop to insert The Cruel Prince by Holly Black I even have a review on this channel, and I think I gave it a decent review when I was reviewing it on this channel, but here's what happened. I sat on it for a little while, and, like, I went to start the second book, because there's more books to the series, and I just kept putting it off, and I just kept being like, eh, I'll read it next time, I'll read this first. And so, I didn't hate this particular one, The Cruel Prince. This is going to fall into the disappointing category because I was severely disappointed. TikTok had hyped me up on how good this book was going to be. It's fairy. It's spicy. It's romance. Where's the spice? Where's the romance? It's, it's implied romance, 
but I didn't come here for implied romance. You know what I mean? It just wasn't for me. And I know there are a lot of girls who live and die on Holly Black. And you know what? I can appreciate her work for a slow burn that it generally is. This just wasn't for me. It just wasn't. Um, I gave it still a good review because I don't think it's a poorly written book or whatever. But it was a huge disappointment from what I was expecting from Book Talk. From how much Book Talk had hyped this book up for me. Now the next one we did not like. <laughs> this one the x hex picture it halloween 2022 augusta georgia and lauren is looking for a halloween book to read and i think i've where i effed up was i read a really good book before the x hex um i read like i think it was like the orc king no not the orc king I read my first monster romance. I don't remember what it was. I would have to go back and look. But I read my first monster romance in um, October as well. And really enjoyed it. It was like exactly what I was looking for. And um, <clears throat> then I tried to read the X-Hex. And it was so slow. I was like, oh my gracious. I didn't DNF it. I do not DNF books very easily, you guys. I am a girl who, once I start, if I hit 20 to 30% on a book, I'm finishing that dating book. Because I'm going to find out if this author saves herself or not, or himself or not. But yeah. That one was just one I did not like. It was extremely slow. Um... There's like a book two and stuff and never even crossed my mind to finish the series. It, it was not for me. The X-Hex was not for me. Putting in the next one in. This is a controversial one because a lot of people love, love, love this book. The Spanish Love Deception, right? I heard so much about this book. They were like, oh, it's great romance, very Tessa Bailey-like. And I love Tessa Bailey, you guys know that. So I was like, okay, I'm definitely going to give it a try. I hate critiquing books because I've had my work critiqued and I don't like to be ugly about it. But this book was just not good to me. Like, the first 70% of it was so slow. I had to force myself through this book. Now, the last, the ending, the last 20 to 30%, if you go and watch my Spanish Love Deception review, the last 20 to 30%, she stuck the landing. I did give her that, the, the author of this novel. I thought it was a good ending and I it made me happy like for the couple but bruh that first 70% of that book thought it was never gonna end it was the driest romance I'd ever read I understand it was supposed to be like co-workers who don't like each other or like grumpy sunshine a little bit it wasn't for me um once again, these are all my own opinions. So if you love the Spanish Love Deception, I'm so happy that that book is for you and that you enjoyed it. I just did not enjoy it. That's, that's just that. Final Girl Support Group. I'm not even going to go into it that much because I have a whole video on what I disliked about this book. Um... Saw it all over TikTok. I did, I will give this one. I was seeing good and bad things on TikTok, but it was all over my FYP. So I was like, okay, I'm either going to have one reaction or another. There was like very little middle ground people with this one. 
There was not a lot of people that were just like, oh, it was, it was okay. Like you hated it or you loved it. And um, unfortunately, I fell into the hated category for a few reasons, very specific reasons. You can go watch an entire video on how problematic I found the book from about two or three weeks, two weeks ago, I think. So there we go. Now we're going to start a little section called books that I love other works by this author and I did not love this book talk book. We're starting with The Vampire Queen by Kate, uh, Miss Katie Roberts. I love some stuff by Katie Roberts. This one wasn't it. I believe I read it in October too. Um... I read it as soon as it came out because I was so excited for it. There was zero plot in this book. I've talked to another friend who also read it, and I was like, is it just me? Or, and she was like, no, no. There was no plot in this book until maybe the last quarter of the book. But the entire first 70%, unlike the last book we just reviewed, the first 70% of this book is just this chick getting railed. That's it. There's no, no plot, there's no plot twist, there's no, nothing, nothing like that. It is just sex scene after sex scene after sex scene for 70% of a book. And then there's a little bit of plot thrown in. And you're not going to catch me like that. Like, if your opening scene is literally just pornographic, okay. But... I don't know these characters, so I'm probably going to skim a little bit and see, like, what the heck is going on. What are these characters' names, <laughs> right? So, that's kind of what happened, and I just kept skimming, because I was like, okay, there's got to be, they're going to talk about something somewhere in here. Oh, no, here's another person. Oh, Lord, and it's just me skimming, looking for the plot. It wasn't there. <laughs> um, like I said, towards the end, she has to, you know, take over the land or whatever. And there's a little bit of plot, but. It took you a minute to get there. Okay? And I'm not one to say something is too spicy. But you gotta have some plot. Plot is important. I hate even saying this one because I love this author so much. Um, but Renee Adier's Wrath in Dawn. I think she wrote it before the Beautiful series, and I love the Beautiful series. I love the Beautiful series. I think she does brilliant work, like in the New Orleans 1800s time frame, building her characters, really putting you there in that time frame. I think she's incredibly talented in that series. I don't know what Wrath and Dawn was. It was like a retelling kind of of um the Aladdin stuff, right? The um the book that the Aladdin stuff is written about. Like Aladdin Disney's Aladdin. Um Prince of Thieves. Like it's it's a retelling kind of like that, but it missed on a lot of points for me. This one was slow, slow. And I just remember being like, I don't know, it wasn't for me. And I that could be just personally me because I had such high expectations because I had read at least the first two or three books and the beautiful series before I read this. And it just let me down. It was a disappointment. It was... And, um, like I said, I saw it on Book Talk. I didn't even know that Renee Adia had other stuff other than the Beautiful series until I saw it on Book Talk and someone was raving about it. They were like, it's such a sweet story. And I was like, okay, let me, I love this, I love this author. Let me read it. Y'all, wasn't for me. And the very last one, book 
Number seven breaks my heart to even have in here because I had the highest of hopes for this book. I was sitting on this book for a minute because I was like, it's going to be so good. And then I had another friend text me and say, you got to read this book. And I was like, you know what? I am going to read this book because I've been wanting to read it for a while. That inheritance schemes. I don't know what I was expecting. I think this is another one where my expectation got out of hand with myself. Like, I had too high a hopes for it. Right? I love a dystopian YA puzzle solving book. You guys know this. Like, you know I love me. A Hunger Games. A Divergent. A... Ready Player One, like, if you're solving puzzles, and you're young, and it's, the world is falling down around you, I am game to read that book. And for some reason, I thought that was going to be Inheritance Games, and it was not. I didn't hate this one, so let me put that out there. I read this one, and I enjoyed this one. For the most part, I had a few problems. Um... I just was disappointed once again. I expected, like, to want to binge the series. I expected to be all in and be wrapped up in the series for a long time. Like, I have been with other types of books like this. I have no desire to read book two. If I finish a book one and I don't j jump immediately into book two for whatever reason then that was probably a letdown for me. Um, and I have no desire to finish the series. Um, but I didn't hate Inheritance Games. I'm glad I read it. It was just a massive disappointment. So yeah, that is the seven books from Book Talk that I found on Book Talk specifically that either I hated, I didn't love, disappointed me, I expected more of, and some matters made me cringe. And, um, yeah, I will also do a video maybe next Saturday on the five-ish books or more that I found on Book Talk that I did love. Because I don't like just doing books that I didn't love, right? Like, last week I did um, my top ten books I would recommend to a friend, right? And so now I want to do the books that I found on Book Talk that I loved, that I do Think you should go out and read if you've been seeing them all over your FYP. So I love you guys so so much. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, the whole nine yards, and I will see you guys next week. Mwah.